Hey, what's up guys? This is Invalid Cola coming at you again with something quite interesting. Um, I like to call it bugs and imbalances in Dota. Throughout the history of Dota there's been quite a lot of uh, imbalanced heroes, skills, items, stuff like that. And um, of course some interesting bugs as well that could really screw up uh, the game in different ways and create some pretty funny situations. So I thought why not make a movie about that with um, some of the most interesting um, features, so to speak, that has uh, been present throughout the history of Dota. And I actually got this idea from a guy called Downware, who's made a similar movie uh, on Warcraft 3, with, which also has included some pretty spectacular bugs and imbalances throughout the history. Uh, you can go ahead and uh, find his account on YouTube if you want, Downware. Just search for that, should be easy enough to find if you're interested in the normal Warcraft 3 movies. Anyway, let's get started with this edition of uh, Dota Bugs and Imbalances. And um, here, uh, the first hero I'd like to show you is Medusa from Dota version 568. She had a pretty imba ultimate uh, split shot and it did full damage ladies and gentlemen and at max level it hits seven targets which obviously is really in if you get a lot of damage items here's a little clip of her owning up a naga siren and this is a very early uh, level she's only got level one split shot and stuff like that but as you can see here she really owns up that naga and as soon as naga flees she purges him which is a normal skill ladies and gentlemen purchase a normal uh, skill and it's a only a low level purge in this clip it actually slows like uh, twice as much once you've maxed it out as it did here and of course it also kills uh, all summons like infernals <laughs> stuff like that in one um, in one hit pretty much deals like 10,000 damage to summons and it removes buffs and stuff like that as well so pretty in bad. so next hero up is Ricky from 60568 as well he's permanently in this at level uh, 5 and his ultimate at level 6 is death ward which is of course witch doctor's ultimate in this version but it isn't channeling and it has true sight at max levels so looks let's see here how fast he can own a um, Leshrac with that skill pretty fast and of course this is a low level Ricky so once he's he's maxed out that ward he should be able to own him even faster so that was definitely quite in there with both uh, perma invis and the witch doctor ultimate morphling following up here with um, spell steel as his ultimate in version 568 spell steel he was with spell steel he was able to steal any spells used by opponents or allies around him and here's a clip where he first steals the nova from the lich then uh, uses the nova against the lich and lich goes ahead and uses uh, his ultimate on the morph and morph follows up with lich ultimate right after and then finishes off lich pretty fast here with his normal skills and again this is a low level morphling um, so later in the game obviously that would be a lot more powerful um, the level of the skill you are stealing from your opponent is the same level as the skill the opponent used against you so that's pretty epic and in a big team fight you could really steal like two or three ultimates and use them all against your opponents if you were fast enough anyway spectre is the next hero up in 633 when he was pretty much just introduced um, his dispersion here and it took some time to change that his dispersion was really in bad uh, it dealt full damage of course and here you can see him owning up a Lina who actually uses her ulti on Spectre's uh, illusion and that illusion disperses her ultimate and instant kills Lina he also had a skill called vengeance that uh, did a lot of damage to any enemy's heroes that killed a, a creep or an illusion or an enemy hero nearby it was like 400 damage for killing a, an enemy hero and 200 damage or something like that for killing an illusion so that was really really nasty combined with dispersion here's the spirit breaker bu spirit ba breaker bug from version 640 spirit breaker is going to charge russian here with the help of chicken right from the beginning of the game and he's used a clarity potion as well 
um, which is obviously gonna rejuvenate his mana really fast here and that will allow him to repick because you can only repick when you've got full HP and mana. So here I go ahead and type repick. I'm actually a little bit, little bit too fast here, so I don't quite have full mana, so I have to type it again real fast before I reach Russian, and I'm just able to do that. And uh, then I can go ahead and uh, pick a any hero, pretty much could be any hero at all. I go ahead and pick Lion, and as you can see, I've got level 4 Charge of Darkness constantly active on my hero. This will stay on my hero throughout the game, so that's a pretty imba bug. Lion, as you can see, is moving way too fast compared to a normal lion. And I'm gonna go ahead and buy boots and um, boots of travel here just to show you exactly how fast uh, you can get to move with a hero like Lion. It's probably uh, almost max speed by now. So that's uh, that's pretty epic and something that a lot of people whined about obviously back then. Anyway, moving on to the Storm Spirit bug from pre-Dota version 6.46, which actually allowed you to do a pretty crazy push with a huge amount of creeps. Here you can see me using my ultimate to uh, gather up the creeps into a big pile uh, just behind my second tower here and the ultimate of Storm Spirit in this version would drag any units, friend or foe, enemy or well, heroes, uh, creeps, etc. And the creeps here are obviously bugging up quite a bit, um, gathering up in a, in, a, in a huge stack here. And here I'm moving them a little bit towards the enemy. And here they're going completely crazy, splitting up from the stack, and they're gonna go for a huge, huge push. There's probably like 50 creeps there or something, and without AoE, that's gonna be pretty much impossible to stop. And here's the final clip of the pretty Imba hero Gambler, who I'm actually not sure which version of Dota he was in, but he was a hero based off luck. And here you'll see his ultimate in action dealing 2000 damage right there. Here I think it's gonna do deal 2500 damage, pretty much instant kill um, this uh, Lycan. And uh, basically it had a max damage of 2500. Here's gonna kill the Geomancer. <laughs> Um, but this 2,500 damage, which is was which it was capable of dealing with just a little bit of luck, uh, was pure damage. Um, it wasn't interrupted by armor or uh, magic uh, resistance or anything like that. So if a hero had 2,500 HP, it would die uh, if you were lucky enough. And basically it was based on your gold, uh, long story, but uh, all in all, he is pretty goddamn crazy hero because uh, basically if you're lucky, you'll win the game. If you're not, you'll lose. And that's not really something you want in a game of Dota, of course. So that's pretty much the reason why he was removed. But uh, yeah, I don't know whether <laughs> you classify him as a bug or imbalance. Um, but uh, anyway, that's about it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if there's any more uh, imbalances or bugs that you would like me to show off here, uh, then go ahead and message me um, wherever, pretty much. Um, and uh, and I'll definitely considering uh, making a part two to this edition of imbalances and bugs for Dota. Hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, hopefully I'll be doing some more live casts and maybe some more videos here on YouTube uh, pretty soon once I've uh, cleared my my uh, illness. I'm, I'm a little bit sick, have been a little bit sick. Maybe you can also hear it on my voice, but uh, hopefully it's not too bad. And I hope to be back soon, so uh, see you guys around.